Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show, and this time I thought I would review Paperboy 2 on the Super Nintendo. If you remember a long while back on this channel, I reviewed Paperboy, which to me is a classic video game. Doesn't matter where you play it or what console you play it on, it could be fun in the arcade, the NES, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, the game is a lot of fun. Will the sequel be as good? Let's find out right now. Paperboy 2 was developed by Tengen and published by Mindscape. It was released on the Super Nintendo in 1991. It has been released on many home systems, such as the Amiga, Amstrad CPC, Atari ST, MS-DOS Operating System, Game Boy, Game Gear, Sega Genesis, NES, and the ZX Spectrum. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, Aaron, you called it the ZX Spectrum in the Fat Worm Blows a Sparky review. I know, and I was wrong. Larry Bundy Jr., who is from the UK, told me that I was saying it wrong. So it's called the ZX Spectrum. Kind of like FedEx, but with a Z. Now I could go through each one of these systems, but I decided to just leave it at the version I know the most, and that is the Super Nintendo version. Later on, I will do a Let's Play video on some of the ports. Who knows when that will be, though. I remember the first time I played Paperboy 2. I actually got the game for Christmas one year. I think it was like a few years after I got my Super Nintendo. I was so damn happy to get it because I really enjoyed the first game, which I had played many times before getting Paperboy 2, back when I used to rent the game on the Sega Genesis. So like the first game, you play as Paperboy, and you will go through a very bizarre neighborhood and deliver papers. You think the obstacles were weird in the first game? Well, play through this game and you will see some very weird obstacles. Especially for a nice neighborhood like this. Not only that, in Paperboy 2, you can play as Paper Girl. There is another cool feature in this game. You will deliver paper to both sides of the street instead of one side like in Paperboy, which I think is really cool, and it makes the levels a little bit longer. Some of the obstacles you will encounter are rolling tires down a driveway, strange houses like a haunted house, dogs, ghosts, monster trucks, dog pound vans, robbers, scarecrows, kids throwing rocks, a castle that has cannons, gargoyles shooting fire, and a ton more. Oh wait, I'm missing one. That's right, a sunbather. She lays outside next to a sprinkler that is not on. If you hit her with a paper, the sprinkler goes off and she gets wet and very angry. <laughs> I can make a joke there, but I won't. I mean, come on, you should definitely know where the hell I'm going right there. I would hate to live in this neighborhood. I mean, damn. I thought some of the stuff I see in my area is weird and sometimes bad, but this place, you wouldn't be able to get any sleep at night. Bunch of crazy crap going on all over the place. I mean, what the hell? The graphics for Paperboy 2 are very good. There are some great sprite animations, and I really enjoy them a lot. Plus, they're quite funny looking. The neighborhood design is very well done and very colorful. And it seems everything runs really smooth in this game. The music and sound effects are very well done. The music fits this game perfectly, and it has a jazz sound to it. Now, I'm not a fan of jazz music, but this music is very upbeat and exciting. Kind of gets you into the game, and that is what I really like about it. Now once you beat a level and if you do a certain task in the neighborhood, you will be on a front page headline in the newspaper. If you stop a thief at any of the two gas stations, it will say, Hero Paperboy Stops Thief. If you are going down the road and you see a runaway stroller with a baby in it, you just let it crash. No, you don't let it crash. Well, you can let it crash. But if you throw a paper at it and save the baby, the headline will read, Paperboy Saves Runaway Baby. Although how the hell is a paper going to stop a runaway stroller? Come on, think about it. Oh, that's right, they use their imaginations. If you're going down the road and you see someone spraying graffiti and you hit them with a paper, it will say Graffiti Guy a Goner. I think that is pretty cool. Sure, you don't really get any big points for it, but it's nice to see it. It makes you feel good, like you did a good deed in the video game world. Man, I'm making myself sound more like a jackass every day. The controls are a little on the weak side. Sometimes it feels like they can be a little bit unresponsive, and then there's sometimes it feels a little bit too slippery, especially when moving around. But other than that, I have seen a hell of a lot worse controls, so I can't really complain too much. Paperboy 2 is a very fun game, and it's another one of those games I grew up with, and I feel that it's a classic. I still have my cart to this day, and I really enjoy playing it. I think it's just as good as the original Paperboy, and that is also a classic in my eyes. I could sit for hours and play both Paperboy and Paperboy 2. 
If you have never played Paperboy 2, you could probably find the game at a local game store or on eBay. I know the Super Nintendo version is 47% rare on rarityguide.com, and it goes for around 6 to 12 bucks on eBay. Of course, that is just the cart, not in box or anything like that. I'm sure in box it'll probably be a little bit more, but you never know, you might find a deal. I say if you're a fan of Paperboy, pick this game up. It has the same feel, but more to it, and of course, a crazy ass neighborhood. Unfortunately, Paperboy 2 is not on the Wii Virtual Console or anything like that. It should be. It deserves to be on there. It's a game that you can sit and play either for hours like I can, or it's something for a cheap thrill. Depends on what kind of gamer you are. There are a few more games in the Paperboy series that I'm hoping to review. There is Paperboy on the Nintendo 64, which I sometimes call Paperboy 64, but I don't think that is an official name for it. Then there is Paperboy on the iPhone and Paperboy Wheels on Fire on the Blackberry. I hope you enjoyed this review of Paperboy 2. Thanks for watching.